Hey y'all, welcome back to The Sim Twins. My name is Brooke and today we are doing another speed build. This is a very fun summer speed build. I decided that I wanted to build an ice cream truck. I tried to do that, but there was no way that I could make it look like a truck. So it's really more of a trailer, but it's really fun because this is considered a retail lot. So your Sims can buy this lot and then they can also make money off of it. I put in, um, you'll see later, I put in a bunch of ice cream machines I also put in a little bakery thing so you can have your sims sell bakery items and you can have them sell ice cream as well but I also made this kind of like a community lot as well so if you put this into your game even if you don't buy it you can come and hang out here and it's just a really fun place for the summer so I went through and looked at a lot of the debug items trying to find like really cool things that I could put in here and it was so hard to like figure out how to work how to make this trailer work I had to size it down and I think it's more of a trailer for like if your uh, sim is wanting to like have a boat on their trailer um, like going to the beach or something so it was really hard to make it work for my ice cream truck and I had to uh, do this build more than once because it was just really hard to try and figure out like how to do the placement correctly and everything and how to make everything work and all that stuff. But I finally got it to work out. I had to do that trick where you create uh, two levels and then you um, take the one level and delete it from beneath it. So then it looks like your thing is floating and then you bring down the height of the other one so that it is like just at the right height that you want it to and so I had to of course play around and I decided that I was gonna put this little truck here so you know it just didn't look weird that there's just this random trailer sitting out but that this person you know has his truck or her truck they have their truck and they have this ice cream trailer and they're trying to like sell ice cream during the summertime it's just like a fun summer thing that they want to do and so I thought that you know even I added a little bit like of an a back porch kind of thing but I was thinking that this was like a really easy kind of material like a, a really thin aluminum metal type of material that you could take off whenever you're trying to transport your ice cream truck to a different location and it was really hard to pick a good door for this because I wanted the door to feel very industrial I did not want it to feel like it was made of wood I wanted to feel like it was made of metal and so that was really hard and I think actually the doors that I went with were the ones that came with get to work and I think they're usually meant for like the hospital doors but I thought they were really well with this because they did look they did give me that metal feel that I wanted and of course I had to play around using the whole off the grid windows and doors system in this build and it was so fun that they added this update and I wanted to add in a ladder space as well but there wasn't really any room to put a ladder on this because of how small it was and there's really no reason that you needed a ladder anyway because going up to the roof the only thing that I put on the roof um, it has a metal roof on it and it also has some decorations to show that oh this is like where the uh, air conditioning thing unit would like um, go for so there really isn't anything that you're doing up on the roof I don't have like eco lifestyle yet so you can't put anything up there that is green or uh, that is solar panels or wind turbines or anything like that but if you have eco lifestyle you could totally change this build up however you want and put whatever you want on, on the roof you could totally do whatever you want but um, if you want to download this obviously you can always download anything that we put on our channel on our gallery our gallery ID is the sim twins 14 and so I just want to say thank you so much for all of the love that we've been getting in the past couple of days. Y'all are so awesome. I cannot believe that we got to over 200 subscribers now. That is crazy. Thank you so much for all of your support. We are so happy that our channel has been able to grow. And um, we've been um, doing these videos now for about six months. And we're so excited that y'all are here. And we just want to continue to make awesome content that you really like. And so I went through the debug debug catalog a lot because I wanted to find the ice cream stuff from cool kitchen stuff and I put them specifically out front because I wanted to kind of mimic how I've seen a lot of other ice cream places I've gone to like have plastic ice cream models of all their different flavors and everything like that but what I ended up learning because I tested this during my stream last night when you go to that um when you, when you go to the lot, the ice creamer is not there anymore because I guess it melts or whatever, which is really sad. It made me really sad. But um, I put them out on the front and you'll see that later. But I put in 
two refrigerators here so you have a lot of refrigerator space I also like I said I put in that little warming place that um, came with get to work so you can put like bakery goods and I put this little refrigerated bakery stand here and I also put in a bunch of calendar space so you have a lot of room to do your prepping you have I use these um, base game ones but I think they worked really well for that industrial feel that I wanted from um, the inside and so it has a lot of space to do your prep work you could uh, there's also a dishwasher in here you could also totally change this around and make it so that when your sims own this place they could um, bake in here so you could put in an oven there's totally enough room for all of that I also put in a microwave and a coffee machine and an ice cream place and I don't know if there's actually enough room to do prep space if you are going to get a, a stove but if you if you wanted to get a stove you could just take out one of those cash registers because you only technically need one cash register I put in two but you could take out the other cash register and then I just added in a little bit of decorations so you see like this chalkboard sign and here I am going through adding little ice cream decals that came with cats and dogs I thought they were super cute and there was this one big ice cream decal that I sized up on the back and I thought that was like their logo their ice cream logo so people see that they know that the ice cream trailer is here and they're ready to have some summer fun with their ice cream and also they could maybe get some baked goods like I said they could also like sell baked goods as well as, well as their ice cream and then here I am again going through putting those ice cream um, things up like I said I wanted to pretend that this was plastic models of all the different ice cream flavors that you could get but unfortunately when I did player test this yesterday it did not have the ice cream there and it was really sad so I wish that there was a way to like keep this ice cream kind of preserved that I got out of the debug catalog because I just think it'd be super cute to have this because when you go to an ice cream place you know you want to know all the different flavors they have you want to know like whatever ones they all are selling and so one of the best ways to do that is to have like those plastic models out and I remember as a kid whenever we would go to like an ice cream place that had those plastic models and be like oh my gosh that ice cream just looks so amazing and then you like touch it and you're like but it's made of plastic like I don't want to eat plastic um, but of course like it was just a representation of what the actual ice cream looked like and usually the ice cream was really good and I just thought it was a really fun way to kind of represent that and then I went through and did a little bit of landscaping because I wanted this to feel like really nice and I put up some little pub tables that came with Discover University because I wanted it to be that your sims could come out here they could have a cup of coffee if they wanted to they could eat their pastry they could eat their ice cream while standing at these little um, tables and I'm sorry that I just paused it for a second because I was like trying to figure out what I was going to do. But anyway, the table is from um, Discover University. So your Sims can do that. And then I thought, you know, this lot is really big. It's the um, empty lot that you get in Magnolia Promenade. And it was really big and there wasn't really much else to do. So I decided to turn this into more of a community space as well. I wanted it to be kind of like a, an outdoor market. So I put in some of these... Um, little tables the crafting tables from jungle adventure and you can actually tend those tables in the game and you can sell things on it and I put in that one so you can see how it works you can put out different items to be sold and everything like that and I also was going through and trying to figure out like what other things I wanted to do to decorate it and I I was trying to find like something to overhang this and there was this really pretty um, cherry blossom thing and I loved it so much and I thought that would be the perfect centerpiece for when your sims are standing underneath the crafting table so I sized that down and put that there and I thought that was really sweet And then I found this fake bin and then I realized when I found the fake bin that I had not put a real bin anywhere on this lot. So I took the real bins and I put one in so there's a trash can outside near the truck and there's also a trash can inside your little ice cream trailer. Um, and then I put a little, I put a couple of more of these um, carts outside so you can have more space. And then I went through and I got some of these different little booths that they have. I got a booth from 
Um, I'm pretty sure it was Seasons, and I got one from Island Living, and I got the uh, pizza place from Discovery University, because definitely everyone needs pizza. And I also got the Beach Shack, even though Magnolia Promenade is not in Sulani. You could totally put it in Sulani if you wanted to. I put in the Beach Shack because originally, honestly, I thought it was a photo booth. I was very wrong, so if there's an actual photo booth in the game, you know, you can definitely swap that out for a photo booth because that was more along the lines of what I was thinking of doing was putting in a photo booth, and I didn't realize that it wasn't a photo booth. And then I decided to put in these new little um, benches. I've never used these benches before. They came with the free holiday update, and they're so pretty. They just look super nice and super pretty, and I put in like a little bit of a, a patch of dirt there so your sims can come with their families and they can sit and they can eat their pizzas they can eat whatever they get from any of the other booths and they can just like hang out and have a nice time i was originally thinking about maybe putting like a grill beside there but then i was thinking you know since these people are trying to make money of course they're not going to let people like make their own food here and then i needed to add just a little bit more greenery here on the side so i added a little bit of a tree and then i added some shrubbery underneath of of course I went in and made sure that there was some lighting and I really love the lighting that this is from Seasons and it's just so pretty. I love those little, um, I guess you could consider them to be kind of like, um, oh gosh, I can't think of the word. But anyway, they're really pretty and they come in different swatches and I also wanted to like go through and kind of find a little bit of a sign to put out front but I think I end up deleting that sign because I thought it was like a little bit too island living and then I put these condiment trays on the tables and that's pretty much it make sure that you like subscribe and comment thank you all so much for sticking around I hope that you will download this into your game and have a really fun summer but we're going into the screenshots now have a good day